Hello everyone, my name is Mauricio Verano, and today I'm going to present our paper called Bacata Notebooks for Domain-Specific Languages, almost for free. This is a joint work with Jürgen Finchu and Thijs van der Storm. Okay, first we conducted a domain analysis of computational notebooks. So in this domain analysis, what we did was to study 16 notebook platforms. So we try to capture all the features we identified uh, in each of these platforms. And then we, we created a feature diagram. So on the right hand side of the screen, you can have a look at the, the first layer of such diagram. And essentially with this uh, domain analysis, what we found is that there were two main categories of features. We found language independent and language dependent features. So the language independent are the features more related to the, to the platform itself. And the language dependent are features that are usually implemented using a, a language workbench. Uh, so we can think about type checkers, uh, syntax highlighting, auto-completion features, so, so in general, IT services. So based on this, we, we thought, well, if language workbenches are already used for this, well, let, let's see if we can use all, uh, a language workbench also for creating a, a computational notebook for a domain-specific language. Here we have uh, uh, the anatomy of a notebook. So this is uh, more or less what a notebook looks like. Uh, so essentially it's a cell-based document and we have three main types of cells. First, we have a documentation cell so users can, can write the description of their algorithms or just uh, a specification in, in natural text about the, the program. Then we have Input cells, so input cells are cells used for, for writing code. So here is where the users can, can create their programs and, and then based on those programs, well, they can obtain a, a result. And the result can be, a, and the result is an output cell. So there are two types of output cells. So either it shows an static output or uh, interactive web application. So for instance, here in this example, in the bottom part of the slide, we see that the user starts manipulating the sliders and the result is changing. So this enabled them to, to experiment with the, with the current outputs. Okay, so now the question is, why notebooks for domain-specific languages? Well, uh, notebooks are, are very interesting tools in which users can, can prototype, can easily try out different, uh, different alternatives. That's why it is used for end user development. It allows novice users to, to experiment with code. Also, because they are an interesting way of teaching a new language or trying out a new API or a library because they are easy to get started working with. And finally, well, it allows users to, to experiment so they can quickly prototype something and try a different algorithm and see what are the results without having to, to, to worry for a, for a production environment. So they can easily prototype an experiment within a notebook. And since domain-specific languages are made for domain experts, we, we believe this is a good match between this powerful tool for, for novice users and a language for, for a domain expert. So then we have a challenge, and, and the main challenge we found was to try to define a notebook at the language abstraction level and not at the implementation. With this, I mean, we want to to obtain a notebook, but we don't want to have to deal with the communication protocol. So we want just to focus on the, on the language level. So to this, we implemented Bacata. So Bacata is a language parametric notebook generator for DSLs. So essentially what we did with Bacata is to open up the, the notebook metaphor for DSLs. 
Bacata is implemented using uh, the Rascal language workbench. So with Bacata, we want to extend the current set of services offered by language workbenches. So language workbenches are used for defining interpreters, IDEs. So why not to, to use them as well for creating a notebook? And finally, we want to, to be able to generate uh, notebooks for DSLs. So the, the main point here is that we want to try to achieve this by reusing as much as possible. So the idea is that users do, do not have to, to write a specific language component just for, for a notebook, but if the language already have some, some language components that can be reused, well, why not to use it again? This is Bacata's architecture. There are three main components. So in this architecture, we split the, the front end from the back end. So Bacata Rascal is responsible for the back end, meaning it's the, the module that's responsible for communicating with the language workbench. And the and Bacata core is the, the module responsible for, for interacting with the notebook platform. So in this example, we have Jupyter, and we have Rascal on the top part. And then the way in which they, these two modules communicate is through the DI language protocol. So the DI language protocol makes an abstraction of the, of the features required to enable this communication. So in the DI language protocol, we can think about uh, how to execute a code snippet, how to, and how to make autocompletion. Okay, so now let's have a look at an example. So this is an example for a, a tiny language for expressions. So essentially here we can define uh, two variables. Uh, and now we want to, to create a debugger. So to, to obtain a, an interactive web application. And here we are debugging this expression y times two. And essentially what we are doing here is we want to, to see what are the variables defined in the environment. And with the sliders, we want to, to change their values so, so users can experiment with them. So for instance, here we get that the, the debugger, well, it updates the, the values of the, of the expression we want to debug. So as you notice here, we, in, this, in this example, this is only a local change and it's not global, meaning after this cell, the, the value of y won't change. So these are the elements we require for creating that notebook. As you see, well, we need a syntax, but if the language was already implemented, well, the syntax is the same, there are no changes. We also need a REPL. And with this REPL, well, as you see, it, there are, it, it's, it's relatively small. So we have two commands and we want to have a different action for each command. So essentially you have the show command and then the rest. With the show command, we create an interactive application as you saw before. And with the rest, we are just going to return the, the, the result of the computation. So here we are reusing uh, an existing interpreter and we are only adding these uh, this layer to, to know, well, how to render the results essentially. And then on top of this, well, we define a notebook and a notebook is just the definition of a kernel data type in which we define the language. So the name of the language where the source code is, and then we call Bacata. When we call Bacata, well, Bacata is responsible for installing the, the language and starting the, the Jupyter server. So we applied Bacata to several case studies. So for instance, we use Twitter.js just to show some the sugar code. Uh, we use it for Halight. Halight is a domain specific language for image processing algorithms. And with Halight, we, we were able to, to take the code to define an input, to apply some algorithms over the, the input data and to see what the compiler does, like the optimizations, and to render that information to the developers. And finally, we have 
QL. And with QL, what we obtained was to, to try to use these interactive features in which we can have interactive output. So for instance, here you can see that we created a questionnaire and this is an interactive questionnaire where users can can try it out, or you can also have a visualization of the dependencies between the questions. So there were like different perspectives from, from all these three case studies. Okay, to conclude my, my talk, well, I just showed you how to create a, a notebook for a DSL using Bakata. So we, we show that Bakata reduces the effort of creating a, a notebook for a DSL as we we were able to reuse existing language components like the syntax of the language the REPL interpreter type checkers etc we also show that we are able to create interactive outputs for the cells so so dsls can benefit from this since they can create interactive web publications as a result of of a computation for instance and we, we also offer a high level API so we can extend it for, for, for other platforms in the future. Thank you so much for your attention. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.